Is it still a good idea to get the DJI Spark in 2019? Who's it for? What can you use it for? Today we're going to talk about those things. My name is Bobby Arnett. Let's get after it. going on everybody thank you so much for clicking on the video today we're going to talk about the DJI Spark the everyday family loves to go out and loves to have fun we have an everyday budget and when you want to document stuff you got to keep that budget in mind with that said the DJI Spark is an amazing tool to document things for you and your family I got this last year this can be had now brand new for less than $400 so why do I have the DJI Spark well, I like to film scenic things. I like to film the beach. I live near the beach. I like to get shots of the beach. I like to get shots of the family at the beach. Uh, my kid is two and a half years old. She's gonna start doing sports soon. I'd like to film over the field and practices and things like that. I also just like to play with it. It's a really fun toy to have. Now, okay, it's an expensive toy, but it's still a toy or it can be used as a toy, but it can also be used for a lot of high quality filming. So who is the DJI Spark for? Well, in 2019, you do have a lot of choices when it comes to drones. This is not a pro-level drone by any means. I promise that it's not. I'm not saying that it is. But if you are just trying to get into the field of drones, if you're just trying to get into shooting with drones, this is a great choice. This drone has many uses. My dad uses it to film over the top of his hunting land so he can see how his feeders are looking, how the paths are looking. It's great for that. You can use it for real estate. You can use it for filming the high level shots of a property you're trying to sell. Great for that. You can film it for just family stuff, picnics, family get togethers, family reunions, all kinds of cool things like that. You can use the DJI Spark for. Let's talk about the three reasons why I think the DJI Spark is still valuable and still has a place in 2019. First, cost. This drone can be had for less than $400 fly more pack less than $500. That's still great value when you consider all the technology that is packed into this. This drone can follow, this drone can do certain trick shots, this drone has a sport mode which makes it really fun when you're flying around 30 miles an hour. So there are a lot of uses for this drone in 2019. The second reason why the DJI Spark drone is great in 2019 is the ease of use. This drone is incredibly easy to fly. Now you might be a little nervous the first time you take it up, but I promise it really comes very natural once you get it up in the air, especially if you have any, any um, experience doing remote control cars or anything like that, playing video games, stuff like that. Those hand motions, those you know small adjustments that you do things like that with, they correspond to this drone quite nicely. The third reason why well, the DJI Spark is still a great choice in 2019 the form factor, the size, and the portability. Look at this thing. It fits in my hand. That's pretty darn amazing. It fits in this bag, which can go just about anywhere with you. It fits in this bag, which holds a camera and the drone. The batteries super small. You can take them anywhere. You can have three, four, five of these things and they're not going to take up a lot of space in your camera bag or backpack or however you're transporting your gear, whether it's to a soccer game, to the beach, on the boat, which I love to use it for. All right, let's talk about the three reasons why the DJI Spark is not a great drone in 2019. One, flight time. DJI says you can get maybe 15 to 18 minutes. You're not going to get that. You're going to get realistically flight time after you power it up, sync it up to the remote and get it in the air 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the wind and depending on what you're trying to do with it. If you're flying in sport mode, you're going to get a lot less than that, but that's why you get the extra batteries. Send it up, do what you're doing with it, bring it back, change it. If you get the fly more pack, you're going to have two batteries right off the bat. That's 20 minutes of flight time. More often than not, that's going to be way more than you need anyway. The second reason why the DJI Spark is not great in 2019 is the camera. Just about every drone over the $100 level is going to come with a 4K camera. This is not. This is a 1080 camera. Now, for the average person, for the everyday family like us, and for the everyday person like yourself, 
1080p is going to be plenty. You don't really need a 4K. 4K camera is for professional level drone flying. If you're just getting into it, you don't need professional level equipment. You can get away with a 1080p camera. Some creative editing and you can have some phenomenal shots. The third thing wrong with the DJI Spark in 2019, there's probably going to be a new one pretty soon. There's been rumors in and around the internet, lots of different places, the DJI is going to come out with a Spark 2. Now what does that mean? Probably an upgraded camera, probably longer flight time. But when the new one comes out, that usually drops the price of the current one. So if you're needing one right now and you can't hold off, it's still a great value. But I do recommend that if you're on the fence about whether or not to get this or the next level up, which may be the Mavic Air as far as price point, and you can hold off, I'd say hold off as long as you can because the Spark 2 may be out before the end of the summer. Well, there you go. There's three reasons why it's a good idea and three reasons why it's not a good idea to get the DJI Spark in 2019. Also, some of the reasons why you might want to use it, some of the places you can use it, and some of the things it might be good for. If you like this information, if you like this video, please click down below, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when we do more videos like this. The everyday family likes to have a good time, but we also like to talk about the things that we have a good time with. Thank you so much for joining. We'll catch you next time.